Hey guys, so I'm actually going to need y'all to forgive my appearance at the moment. It is late and I'm actually getting ready for bed and I was getting ready to set my hair and decided I would go through my routine for my curls and I'm going to warn you now, it is a mess. So the products that I will be using today is... The Garnier Fruity Sleep Can Shine Leave-In Conditioning Cream. Some Luster's Pink Oil Moisturizer Hair Lotion. Usually I use Shea Butter, but I am out, so we're going to go with this. And then I use the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. All of that goes in this mess. So, first thing I do is not very routinely I mean it's kind of messy is I section it into two parts and we'll work on this side later I start with this side and starting from the back I take a section clip this up take a section like that not that well this is actually a pretty thick one but that, take the leave-in cream, and I use a generous amount because I have to come through all the tangles, but apply that generously to the hair, and then out, brush all the tangles out. And once that's been brushed through, I take the oil moisturizer or, like I said, I usually use shea butter and apply that, add moisture to the hair. And I like to keep a towel nearby just to keep my hands not so crazy between switches I mean between products and I put the curl enhancing smoothie on to kind of lock it in and so that it will do something overnight can y'all hear that that sounds so gross like I said I use a generous amount because you want it to actually do something and I actually think I might put too much in now for most of my yeah I did put too much in that's why a towel comes in handy for most of my hair I just twist it before the back because I sleep crazy I will braid it And secure it with the um, small rubber band and then I just go for another section the back I usually do really thick because well it's the back of my hair and it's gonna be on the bottom so it, I don't know why but I do but this like this for the next section is too thick, so I will do this actually in two sections. And do I have a pin for this? Just to you know, pin it out of my way. Okay. We then. This is still in the way. Hmm. 
some oil and you can see I am using less well not mostly because it's a smaller section but also because that first section I did use a little too much get it nice and saturated add some curl enhancing smoothie and for this section instead of braiding it I am just going to twist it And I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of this half of the head and I'm going to speed it up for you so I'll be right back. So as you can see, I've got one more section on this side of my head, and actually I do not like it the way that it is parted, so I'm going to take this side loose and pull a little more loose so that my part is sideways. I want to stab myself in the face. And this is always the driest part of my hair. I am about 80% sure that it still got some damage. Which, on oh my hair, I got split ends, I'm not going to lie. But I'm pretty sure, like right here, it's still a little damaged. So I do add just a little extra cream. Ow. Cream.
Okay. And that side of my hair is done. I'm going to let y'all, you know, a little secret. I missed a piece. I hate when that happens, but it'll be okay. It'll blend in the morning. I'm not going to bore y'all by doing the other side of my head off camera. So I will be back in just a moment. Okay, so once you look like you belong in elementary school, you want, and you're ready for bed, you want to take a satin silky scarf. This one was two dollars at the dollar store, and you want to tie it around your head to protect, especially right here while you're sleeping. I also sleep on a satin pillowcase. But I'm just going to, ow, not do that. Oh, I lost my strand here. Tie it, this fell out, let's tuck that back in. Technical difficulties here. And honestly, on the back part, I don't even worry about tucking those strands in because, like I said, I also still sleep on a satin pillowcase. But I just want to make sure that this front part doesn't get all frizzy while I'm sleeping. So I wrap that in. You can see my kind of hanging out the back here. And then. I go to sleep so I will see you guys in the morning good morning forgive the shirt I have to go to work shortly but we are back for the second part of my hair thing I don't know whatever you want to call it and for this I just use the Garnier Fruit Tea Sleek and Shine anti frizz serum and of course my hand towel and that's going to be it. I've already taken the scarf off my head. I tied it a little too tight. I got a little bit of a line, but that'll go away. And before I sat down, I pulled all the rubber bands off the end because just to save time because this is going to be really quick and easy. So I just take a couple of pumps, get my hands oily, and un ow forgot that was braided and not twisted twist each strand now I'll do one side first and Once it's done un untwisting it, just rub the excess oil that's in your hand through it. And then take a couple more pumps for the next side. Okay, I'm going to stop recording right in the middle of that. I'm sure y'all can hear my computer running in the background. Sorry. I have a bad habit of forgetting to turn it off. Untwist. Run through the excess. And then you kind of just gauge how uncurled you want each strand. I like my curls a little chunky, so I don't unravel them that much. Oops.
like to massage my scalp right here but right here in the crown I just use my fingers to kind of tease it up to give it a little bit of volume and that's that really simple easy no heat involved which for us natural girls you know we love the no heat thing because our hair gets damaged really quick um side note not 100 percent sure how this would work on well white people hair sorry to say that but i know it sounds bad but um because you guys like to take oil out of your hair us ladies well not with the white hair like to put oil in our hair because ours dries out really fast we like have opposite hairs but i'm pretty sure you can do that with just the leave-in and the curling cream without the oil but that's how we keep our hair soft and not dry looking so we, we oil it up be out if we could have like opposite hairs that would be awesome I don't know I don't know what I'm talking about but anyway that's how I achieve my um heatless curls overnight where I don't have to get up and wash my hair every day because I, oh, I used to only do the wash and go then it started getting cold and wash and go doesn't work when it's cold outside that and conditioner gets expensive so this will last me if I wrap it, which I pull it up in a really high bun and wrap it at night. This will last me two, three, sometimes if I'm lucky, four days before I have to wash it again and start over. So that's it. Um, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and Follow my social media. It's in the description box below. But most importantly, have a good day.